one of the... What's that? You, you're off already? I know you had to take the day off work for Junior, but... Oh, I see. No luck still with Theodore. I'm so sorry, darling. Of course. I'll speak to you later. Oh, Alex. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Blast it all. Still, I'm lucky to have her. So, Patrick and Robin are just going to grab who they can and then you've got these generic links on the auto queue to pull it all together. They do know I have a Queen's View degree in journalism. Bet you wish you'd study something else, wouldn't I? You must bring your daughter to work day. Hey, Jack. Where is our honoured guest? Sitting around that boy band, Hot Spot. Heat Rash. Hot Spot won it last year. Heat Rash. Oh, God, they're running out of names, aren't they? I hear the computer comes up with them. The songs too. Ah, oh, there she is, and just in time, too. That's ten seconds, everybody. What have you been up to? And what's it to you? And we are going in five, four, three. Welcome back. Stacey's still here. Welcome Wishing back. she wasn't. Stacey's still here. Thanks, Stacey. Mm -hmm. And in this segment, we're delighted and to have sent Robin and Patrick to the movies. To yes, Robin tonight is the world movies. premiere of The tonight Automated, the starring the Lawrence Blunderclatch and the late, starring great starring Helena canterbury Boatshoe. And, and all the stars are out tonight. We first covered this film almost five years ago, back when it was called The Medicated. Then, for mysterious reasons, the film was suddenly pulled the night before its release. Well, since then, executive producer George Focus has spent five long years polishing the film and turning it into a special edition and premiering tonight. With extensive state-of-the-art visual effects and a top-quality voice team, George says it's the movie he always wanted to make. Now, let's take a look at it. I can't deconstruct it. Captain? I can't deconstruct it. I can't deconstruct it. Robots! Is this a wig? You think I don't grow that? Kill you. Think of Sat and you. There's something on your face, Chief Harrison. Harrison. I wish you were real, baby. Flesh and blood. Captain Quasar. But you're just ones and zeros, baby. If only I'd noticed. Captain Quasar. You rested. But I didn't notice. Captain. I'm buffering, Chief. You said. I've got one on you. God damn it! Lost it all. Here's a map! Okay, so head north on Interstellar Avenue, left at the asteroid belt, and a tricky three-point turn at Uranus. What are these symbols? This corner, this, this is the key. We could shut it down. Yes, yes, we could shut it down! Yes, we could shut it down! But we have to ask ourselves, who are we? Gosh, thrilling stuff. What did you think, Stacy? Thrilling stuff. What did you think, Stacy? The robots were all right. The I guess. Were all right. They certainly were. Let's go over to Robin Short now in Western <laughs> Square, who I believe has got the star of the show. Robin. That's right, Megan. I'm here in Western Square for the premiere of The Automated, and here comes the man of the hour, Lawrence Blunderclatch. Lawrence, Robin Short with the NNN. Do you have a moment to talk to us? Shove it up your ass. I've nothing to say to you. Ah, Mr. Blunderclatch, are you sure you Full of shit. The lot of you. You're vultures. We are live right now, Mr. Blunderclatch. Just... Good. I'm glad. Because you know what? Actually, I do have something I want to say to you. Your show is a disgrace. You lot will do anything for ratings, won't you? You try to destroy my career and damn well nearly succeed. And now you want me to smile, play nice for the camera? Well, I'm not bloody having it. You can't treat me like that. I'm a big star. Me. I'm big. I'm huge. 
No, thanks to your show, but thanks to me and thanks to my talent. So you and your producers and your entire pathetic little team can suck my thespian cock. Danica, my darling, how have you been, my love? For you, it's out of the world. Well, that was Lawrence Plundercatch really just giving us both barrels. Um, but Patrick Bannon should have cornered another huge star here tonight. Is Lilsey outshining you, Patrick? Thank you, Robin. Let's hope not. I'm actually joined here by... Billy Bob Jean Short. And surely you recognize my youngest, pop sensation, Lil D. Her Lil C colors album drops next week. Actually, we were expecting Lil C. Is she... She's around. She's not been feeling very well. She's, She's put me in charge. Ooh, has she? Well, the courts have. They gave me stewardship over her estate, her finances, and... Her internal soul, praise Craglaw! Praise Craglaw. Wow. But is she coming just because we've got some questions for her? Well, she might be along later, but as her legal and spiritual guardian, I'll be happy to answer all any questions on her behalf. And Lil D, was it? Well, you look great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know what? I feel great. Well, who are you wearing? I'm wearing Little C and you could be too. Really? Little C's new line launches tonight. This is one of my favourite looks. It's called... Ah! Oh, what a unique name! Hard to spell though. But of course, if Lil C is basically fashion royalty now with a veritable clothing empire to her name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, the label's gone from strength to strength since our initial TV launch on this very show, actually. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so really, we have all you to thank for all this. You know, this hat costs more than my second jet. Feel that? Yes, it's a nice hat. <laughs> it's personal. And Frames Magazine has named me the youngest self-made success story ever. <laughs> and do you have any advice for anyone wanting to follow in your footsteps? Absolutely. All you need to succeed on your own is your family's financial backing and pre-existing fame. It's not rocket science, people. Oh, well, but in sadder news, am I right that Lil C is going to be retiring from music? Yeah, yeah, I'm afraid so. I'm sure you can imagine. At 25, she's far too old for pop music now. She can't keep up with these young stars. So her best off album is out now, and she's touring that later this year. And then her farewell tour the year after that. And that's her last chance to see her. So until the reunion tour and then the classic tour after that. But it's been a long and varied career, as you can imagine. She's very, very proud. Oh, and if her health's bad, then maybe it's for the best. <laughs> What's wrong with her health? Oh. What's wrong with her health? Yes, her health. Her, yes, her poor, her health. poor health. And it's surprisingly expensive treatments. Curse you, Zaytan! Damn your intergalactic justice! Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we'd better be letting you get back. Uh, those babies aren't going to sell themselves, or possibly at all. <laughs> Billy Bob, Lil C, D, thank you so much for joining me, and do pass our best wishes to Lil C. <laughs> Who? Oh! <laughs> Now, it looks like Robin is with a music legend who actually is irreplaceable. <laughs> is that who I think it is, Robin? It absolutely is, Patrick. Jesus, I almost can't believe you're here. Mm -hmm. How have you been? You know, I like to walk amongst the peoples every now and then. It makes them feel close to me. Right, yes. And to be close is to be human. And to be human is to be a part. <laughs> well, that was good, right, that though. Uh, Rachel, write that one down. It's good to see you've done so well for yourself. Thank you, my child. You know, I have you to thank for that. If it was never for your show supporting me and my music, I never would have transcended. Now, there are rumours going around that you might be running for office. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, 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 that's absolutely true, yeah. But you're aware that elections have been suspended in the territories? Uh, no, I'm... I'm not running to be no prime minister. Oh, you're not? No. Oh, you're not? I'm going to be king of the moon. King of the moon? Yes. No, sorry. You're running for king? 
of the moon? No, not running. It's my birthright. Ah, uh -huh. and does this have anything to do with promoting your upcoming hip opera, Jason Space? Hush now. Soon as there's no soul on moon. Ah, uh, OK. And how long will this last? Will it go the way of last year's living as a mouse fiasco? Or maybe your foray into ventriloquist beats? I don't make the moon rules. I merely live by them. <laughs> so, are you looking forward to seeing the automated? You know, I don't believe in film. Thou shalt keep thine image still and holy. That's track for Jesus Christ made us though. Thank you for your time and good luck with your new life in space. I'm with you, my child. <laughs> well, Megan, that's what success looks like. I'm going to see if we can grab someone else to have a chat. Back to you. Thanks, Robin. But I think Stacey and I are probably in quite enough trouble where we are. So, three big names there, Stacey. Yeah, big names. Any thoughts about them? Maybe from your generation's perspective? You won't like my opinions. Oh, go on, try me. <laughs> well, Bumbalonk is so old he's like one week away from a transition centre, so who cares? And Lucy was cool when I was like 12 or something, but now she's just another fucking loony. And Jesus is a disrupt-loving wanker who should have died with the rest of them three years ago. Mm. You're right. You agree with me? No, you're right. I don't like your opinion. But thankfully, we can go back to Patrick now, who has another familiar face to catch up with. Oh, Patrick! Here we go. <laughs> it's absolutely electric, Megan. I can't quite believe it either, but he's here. It's Crazy Neil! Hey, hi, ho, how you doing? Neil, our audiences just love you. They've really, really connected with your ads over the years. What's it like suddenly being so popular? It's crazy. <laughs> People stuff me in the streets, they expose themselves, they write me threatening letters. You know, <laughs> the stalker has become the stalky. <laughs> A real taste of Neil's own medicine, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Hey. And, and what's been the most challenging thing about well, being so famous? It's places like this. You know, being around actors and rock stars, they're real crazy. And Crazy Neil knows crazy. <laughs> and I'm used to being the loudest whack job in the room. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. <laughs> but I know what you're thinking. Hey, Neil, where's the crazy deal? We got crazy deals on chairs. You ever sit in a chair that knock your socks off? No, I can't say that I have. Makes a mess of the carpet. But what do you say? We got a deal? Uh, well. Well, what about Betty Andrews' handbag? <laughs> it's real leather. It's real cheap. And it even contains our heart medicine. <laughs> Spicy. Oh, no, really. You've got the chair. You've got the bag. You're really busting my balls. What can I do to convince you? Let me throw in my wife. Mrs. Neal. It's the latest model. Not a scratch on her, pearls like a charm. What do you say? We got a deal. Look, I, I really I can't take your wife. Yes, you can. I got loads of them. Ooh. Come on down to crazy deals. <laughs> we got crazy deals on chairs. We got crazy deals on meals. <laughs> we got crazy deals on wheels. We got wheels on meals. Meals on wheels. We need to got endangered seals. And we got meals with endangered seals. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Well, oh, it's always a dream come true to meet a hero. How about that, Megan? The man himself. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. What a <laughs> colourful uh, interview there on what looks like an amazing <laughs> night. They certainly know how to make an entrance. And... Horsey in Hours magazine calling it Lawrence Blunderclatch's overly long suicide note in a review which ends with the words and he hasn't even had the decency to see it through the film which is free to all residents of the territories has seen record pre-bookings and looks set to run for months and months but let's go back to those lucky few seeing it tonight oh, I'm so jealous Robin you seen anything unusual there Thanks, Megan. Well, will you settle for the territory's most eligible bachelor? 
Five years ago, Steve Saxon was an unknown. Then a series of incredible performances in acclaimed productions from Hamlet's Jam to the curious rise of Algernon Ding Dong made him the most wanted man in drama. He's been voted sexiest man under 25 for three successive years. Now, let's see if he'll talk to the NLN. Excuse me, Mr. Saxon, Steve, have you got a moment to spare to talk to the NNN? Oh, hi, the NNN. You know, your show gave me my first chance at an audience. The raw me. Steve 1.0. I remember. Even then, everyone could see there was something so special about you. The whole thing is burned into my mind. A moment is the very least I can give your amazing viewers in return. Not that we're actually going anywhere. Where is she? Are you going to introduce us to your day? Oh, but of course, this I'm is... I'm Charlotte Winstanley Dash Hamilton. I was in Hey Friendship too. You know, that scene you burned into your mind. I was in that. <laughs> no. Sorry. Don't remember you at all. Are you sure you were in that? Yes, I was the pretty one. Tell her, Steve. Uh, looks are really important. Well, if you say so, Steve. So, it's been a big year for you. I believe you've been tackling the Bard. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I've been working with a, an enfant terrible called Quentin Sucker Punch. Uh, we've been doing all the Shakespeare's. Crikey, all of them? Yeah, so we shoot one a week. Uh, I play all the parts, so I learn them at the weekend and then we shoot them naked in his steam room. <laughs> the lighting in there is really good. Sorry, did you say naked? Yes, oh, well, he is. I'm in a variety of hats. It's uh, an old theatrical tradition. I had a single out. It was called Look At Me. And you did that advert, didn't you, babe? Is that your dental floss? <laughs> <laughs> and the sex tape, of course. Steve! I don't like to talk about that. Although apparently it's available for 11 99 everywhere. Just ask your news agent. So, what is your favourite Shakespeare play then, Steve? Ooh. I like uh, the wordy one. It's starting soon. I'm going to miss the trailers and we haven't even got any popcorn yet. She'll be here. Oh, I'm sorry, we're late, guys. What took you so long? There was an injured pigeon. I'll explain on the way in. <laughs> now, of course, I remember you from that legendary first appearance. Really? Her too. <laughs> you were such a serious little thing. You had that horrible sister. Yes, that was me. I'm the horrible sister. Don't be so hard on yourself, babe. Looks are really important. So, what have you been up to, Harriet? Actually, uh, last year I was overseas bringing art to the starving children from outside the territories. They may not have food, but they can still have Canadia. <laughs> Good for you. And uh, now I'm in an experimental physical theatre piece about the existential angst of Wicca. Amazing. So arts. We do it above a pub on Thursdays. I was also the girl who got murdered in the bath in Night Slasher 3. Haven't seen it. She was brilliant. Thanks, Steve. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Steve. Sure. I think it's starting soon and I really need a thing Oh my god, you need the loo now. <laughs> We're gonna completely miss the trailers. You were so selfish. Sorry. We've got to go. Oh, of course. Thank you so much for talking with us and Enjoy the movie. Thanks. I love the NNN. I love you guys. Stop showing off. Sorry. Oh my God, Megan! I I can't believe that. Steve Saxon, Harriet Winstanley Dash Hamilton, and someone else. Can't remember her name for the life of me. I'm too starstruck. If I'm honest, I think I've just come. Back to you, Megan. Robin. Lucky you and it's enjoy Robin. the movie. Lucky the Automated you. opens in cinemas across the territories this weekend. <gasps> I'll need a copy of that interview. Show real. And uh, after the movie, remind me that I need to buy some dental floss. After these messages. I still go to the cinema. Get yourself a video recorder, like the one at the home. Yeah, I've got a video recorder. It's just not the same, is it? You're right, it's better. No unevens chatting and chewing all the way through. Oh, well, what about the kiss and cuddle on the back row? Doesn't that happen anymore? In public? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with me. Feeling better? The tyrants of the world would all right, you are. I've got to get set up for heat rash. I think Ronnie's on something. And there he is. It was on his rider. <laughs> Apparently it's medicinal. Ronnie's always high. Give him all his juice. Although they may have God, she speaks! Bonds, they will never He's a stupid kind of... Will, and just like that, you wish you were not it. Bonds. Birth rates may be challenging, but happiness is... Ever we seem to be a bit bunched up at the end. Oh, don't worry, it's so cool.
It's what now? Producing more and faster. It's, than oh, here's before. Megan. Uh, she's going to be interviewing you. Hello. Hi. Uh, this is her. Uh, this is Stacy. Well, hello there, Stacy. Fuck off, Ronnie. Oh. Oh. Right. No, I'm sorry, but if we can't be polite, you're going to have to wait in the dressing room. We are strong together. As a Whatever. A team. Do you want to go and wait in the dressing room? No. Every day, no what? Across these territories, neighbours support neighbours and friends no. reach out to friends. Thank you. Okay. Each other you sit up straight. Operation. You're ruining my shot. Unity. That's what? ten seconds, everybody. No oh, cool. Fucking right, no co. What's that? What's, what's no co? What's no In five, four, three. Welcome back. For our final segment tonight, okay. Stacey and I are delighted to be joined by Heat Rash. <laughs> Their new album, Girls and Why We Love Them All, comes out this weekend. So, let me see if I can get this right. It's Nolan. I write the songs for Ronnie. That's what it says on my tattoo. Oh, you've got a tattoo of your name on yourself. Okay. In case he forgets it. <laughs> <laughs> this raconteur, you must be chinny. <laughs> Why do they call you chinny? Uh, it's because of this ugly old thing. I don't know what you mean. God, you're so fucking embarrassing. Dale. Crikey, Dale, you do not look old enough to be in a band. I get that a lot. I'm actually 23, the oldest one. I have a growth disorder. God, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know that. It's so cool, PT. Uh, it's only messing with you. It's actually 58. <laughs> <laughs> OK, right, I see. You're going to be a handful, aren't you, oh, boys? Oh, <laughs> You must be TP. Hmm, what does TP stand for? <coughs> Tiny brick. <laughs> <laughs> it stands for team player. I see. How long have you had that nickname? Ever since Nolan decided Terry Prodnos was a shit name for a member of a boy band. Oh, no co Ronnie. Yeah, no co Ronnie. No -co no Sorry, what does no co mean? Ah, it's the opposite of so co. Ah, for fuck's sake. So co. Yeah, so cohesive. So you pre-tease say, you cool. pre right. say, okay, thank you, Stacey. <laughs> Sorry about her. Not your fault, she's a demon. <laughs> so, you guys met through a popular show on one of our rival channels, didn't you? Yeah, team players with a Z. <laughs> so, how did that work then? Well, actually, Dell and I knew each other from school. We were actually <laughs> classmates. And... Fuck's sake, Nolan, mate. Give someone else a chance. We all went on team players. We all auditioned. The judges put us into bands. And, um, yeah, we went to their houses and they just put us into bands. Yeah. It's an example of how we're greater than the sum of our parts when we work in harmony. And occasionally singing in. <laughs> so, every week on the show, they get these bands and uh, they give them a song that the producer just found from under the bin somewhere. Actually, I thought. write the song. And, um... <laughs> the public would phone in and decide which song they like best. Right, and then uh, the losers would be eliminated. Ah. And then uh, the losers would be eliminated. Yeah. Mum, what? No-co. Pretty, so no-co. The band who get the most approval so gets to play their song again. The the sure. Uh, so, so what happens to the losers sure. then? Mum. What? What? What do I keep doing wrong? We don't use the L word anymore. Sure. We don't use what the L word You mean losers? Would you please stop saying that? <laughs> would you please stop saying that? That word is a pejorative. It's a word designed to diminish. At Go Getters, I learned very early that we only win when everybody wins. But, mm. Sorry, that's just that's not real life, is it? That's just sports board. No. Just... Thought you were so cool. Yeah, I thought you were so cool. I am. I am so cool. Nah, you're a shrinker. Can't be friends with shrinkers. She doesn't know what you're talking about. She doesn't understand. Uh, so I do understand, actually, Stacey. What's a shrinker? Actually, well, a shrink, a shrinker. What's a pretty mum? I, well, I think it means someone who's older, Pre doesn't it? Well, Pre-territories. It's doesn't someone it? who turned 18 before the new someone future. Oh. We call you pre-tees. Uneven. Mimi. Nonks. It's not her fault she's old. She can't help it. It's not her fault that old. I'm trying actually. to help you here. I don't think I need your help. See? I don't think I need your help. See? Is that so? Yes, obviously. Yes, obviously. <laughs> You know what the real problem with you lot is? You, know what the real problem you is? just can't get over the fact that your you beloved disrupt are gone and you just don't fit in anymore. <laughs> the truth is, disrupt were violent, no-co, 
bricks being led by a fucking psycho. I'm glad they lost, and you should be too. Listen, not everyone over 30 supported Disrupt State. Not everyone, no. But one fuck off lot of you did. But one fuck off lot of you did. So go, Stacey. So go. We've all learned maybe a little bit more than we expected to there. <laughs> I'm genuinely delighted to have met Pete Rash. And before we end the show tonight, I think you're going to sing for us, aren't you? Yes, that's right. We're going to sing a song from Girls and Why We Love Them All called Pieces of My Heart, which is about a real relationship I have with an actual girl. Oh, Nolan, give it a rest, mate. No one cares. Come on, let's get on these stools, lads. Right. <laughs> So, um, Stacey, so, um, can I get your contact? Oh, 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 she's 15. Oh, oh, oh. Go on, piss off and sing your song, Terry. Yeah. Christ. Right you are. So, here they are with their latest single, Pieces of My Heart. Are you excited, Stacey? Not for me, no. I only listen to blip music and a bit of jizz core. Pop music. Ah, oh, yes, I know I meant to mention this earlier. Apparently, these newfangled boy bands change singer all the bloody time. Try and follow along, eh? Keep the shot on whoever is currently singing the lead vocal. I saw you standing by the man you sent away. With a brand new pair of flackers, baby, do you remember? You took the first of the pieces of my heart. You wandered into a push and grabbed a vodka and stank. Took our assets and our wealth and drew them out of the bag. I gave you little pieces. Of my heart, I didn't know two hearts could ever feel like this girl. It's like you were custom made for me by Remington's fist. I take all of the loves that love didn't last. last and leave them in the uneven path. Share the new future as my bride. You snatch me inside.
Thank you for coming in. <laughs> now it's almost time for final thoughts tonight. And I've actually asked Stacey to write a few, and they're just being programmed onto the auto queue now. Uh, now, I have no idea what she's going to say. <laughs> so, fingers on that bleep button in the broadcast room, just in case. Um, take it away, Stacey. Take it away, Stacey. My name is Stacey. I guess you know that by now. I don't know why I put that in there. Anyway. I don't watch the news. There's no need. You hear all the important stuff from your mates, so I don't know what's considered important anymore. But I'm pretty sure that it's not rehashed movies and fucking boy bands, so... Anyway. I'm going to talk about what's important to me. When Advance were first elected six years ago, I was nine and in a home. Not a family home like you call a home. This was a state children's home. It was it was fucking awful, actually. It was like a Charles Dickens book. The roof leaked and the walls were damp some mornings. The food was bad. Drugs and alcohol were everywhere. No one cared. You had to watch your back all the time because there weren't enough staff to manage us. And yes, as you'd imagine, there was a lot of... There was a lot of... Some bad stuff went down there with some of the staff. Okay. Not all of them, but the others knew. And they didn't stop it. And then Advance won the election. And like a miracle, things started to change. They got better. We had nicer food. The home was not just repaired, but redecorated and kitted out with books and sports stuff and musical instruments and video games. Most of the staff were fired and the new ones, which there were more of, spent time talking and working with the bullies. And you know what? A second miracle. It worked. The bullying stopped. Life, my life, got better. Because finally, there was enough money to do the good things, and Advance had the guts to do it. I joined Go-Getters, and on Liberation Night, that gave me a group of friends that I could talk with when the bombs went off and the power went out. Another miracle. I wasn't alone anymore. And that was the night I finally understood the importance of being in a team. So here's my final thought. I know the people who were doing better under the old system long to go back. You say, we were freer. But what you mean is, we were richer. But for every one of you, there is a hundred of me. And even now, after all you've had taken away, you are still doing better than I am, than I likely ever will. You still have homes of your own and families of your own who love you. And I'll never have that. And I'll never so maybe you should stop looking for the worst interpretation so of everything this amazing government does and realise. It's not for realize. you. It's for the millions like me. It's for the millions and you can cry and bleat all you want, but you're never going to get your money back because it's already been spent. On miracles. On miracles. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Stacey, for that. Thank you. Thank you, Stacey, for that. Stand by. Tomorrow better. And we're out. And we're out. Is that all right? Oh, yes. Yes, that was more than all right. Nicely done. Mm. I think you might have actually given them something to think about. So I guess you're going to be taking me back to the home now then. 
um, I was thinking we could go out somewhere and, I don't know, have, have a meal, talk about our options, if that's okay. Of course, Miss Wolf. Security will be standing by. So they're always there then. Uh, there was a, a thing a few years ago now. Oh, with that Jeremy bloke. I heard about that. Everyone did. Were you here back then? Doesn't look old enough. Something that speaks for me. Yeah, she does. An original that. composition of cooperation and cohesiveness. A song of solidarity for a steadfast society. No previous songwriting experience is required. All you need to do is record or notate your anthem and, if possible, arrange it for a modern 39 piece chamber orchestra or 44 voice choir. The entries will be judged by acclaimed composer Jonathan Williamson, responsible for the soundtracks to Bullet Man, The Automated, and, of course, Space Opera, parts one, two, and four.